Hello and welcome to Shelter 142 in Switzerland. In this video I'm going to show how to estimate charging time of a battery in a photovoltaic system. In my last video I set up a makeshift solar energy system to charge an iPad. Let's assume we just want to charge the battery but not use the energy to charge the device. Uh, these are the components, a solar panel from ET Solar with maximum power of 50 Watt, short circuit current is around 3 Amps, a charge controller from IVT Solar, it can handle up to 10 Amps and a Conrad Electronics 12 Volt Acid LED battery with a capacity of 24 Amp Hours. Now let's assume that the battery was used down to about 70% of its total capacity for our 24 amp hour battery, that means 16.8 amp hours are still available and 7.2 were used. Question therefore is how long does it take to charge 7.2 amp hours back into the battery? Uh, remember we have a 50 watt solar panel under the assumption that the panel produces 50 watts indeed under the given conditions to how many amps do the 50 watt correspond? Or in other words, how much current does the panel produce under optimal conditions? Power is a function of current and voltage and can be calculated with this simple equation. Power equals to voltage times current. In our case, the panel provides 50 watts at around 14 volts. Hence 50 divided by around 14 volts equals to 3.6 amps. Now we know that our panel generates 3.6 ampere, so how long will it take to generate 7.2 amp hours? Very simple, it takes 2 hours, just divide 7.2 by 3.6. But let's not forget, this is a very rough estimate, and the calculated 2 hours are kind of the quickest it can get at under the most perfect conditions. True charging time will be longer for sure. Why? First of all, the charge controller also consumes energy and uses part of the power that is delivered by the panel. Second, we assumed that the panel produces 50 watts of power, which is typically only the case under optimal conditions. Under the conditions of this test, for example, the panel only produced around 20 watt. And third, the charge controller does not provide constant 3.6 amp to the battery during the entire charging process. Toward the end of the charge, the controller provides less and less current to the battery. And for all of these reasons, charging will finally take longer than the calculated two hours. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.